All right, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, when we're dealing with square roots, you know, you guys are pretty familiar with square norms. Um, uh, you know, what number multiplied by itself? We know that the square root of 16 is 4. But when we get into cube roots, now we're thinking of what numbers multiply by themselves. Well, we know that three, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is going to be 27. So we can't take this the, square, the cube root of 16. However, we can simplify it. So my recommendation to you is when you're doing this, is again, you can use the factor tree. Because guys, it doesn't matter. If you have your radicand, use a factor tree to write it as prime factors. Because it doesn't matter if it's the cube root, the fifth root, the sixth root. You're always going to want to come from the same factor tree. So I break this down into 8 times 2. I break that down into 4 times 2. And that broken down into 2 times 2. So what I want you guys to understand is that the cube root of 16 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Do you guys agree with me? So if you take the factor tree and then write your number as a prime factorization, now to take the cube root, you need to take pairs or you need to group how many of the twos? Three. So the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 is just 2. And then you still have a 2 left under your radical. 